The answer to this question is actually really easy because it doesn't apply. Okay, so the answer is it does not apply. But, but why? Well, for mean value theorem, what you have to check first is if the function is continuous and if it's differentiable. If it's continuous on the closed and differentiable on the open interval. So before I even have to worry about at what value, you have to first make sure it works, and it doesn't. And here's why. It's not continuous since it creates a zero at two. If I plug in two to the denominator, it creates a zero. Okay, you can have a zero in the bottom. And two is in the interval. So this value is actually in the interval. So this is not continuous on that interval. It has a hole or an asymptote or something like that. Now, f of x is not continuous. So it does not apply. We're done. Now, if it was continuous, let's say my interval did not include two. Let's say it's from three to four. Well, it's continuous on the interval, so then you check to make sure it's differentiable on the interval. If it is, on the open interval, if it is, then you're good to go. Then you can apply it. But it does not apply because it's not continuous right off the bat. In continuity, basically, look at denominators and see where it creates zeros. Or look at maybe square roots and see where they cause negatives in square roots. Those are most common discontinuities. Um, and when you ask about if the derivative is um, possible, if it's differentiable, you have to basically think about is the derivative continuous on the interval? That, that, that's a useful way to kind of think about it. So derivative is differentiable on the interval. So mean value theorem, great way to help you understand calculus. It's a thought-provoking part of calculus.